Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 92. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a No Catch Your Name episode. I'm just trying to squeeze it in because I don't want to get so far behind that I forget or what I made. <laughs> but I have a few finished objects to share with you guys today, and I have one whip that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to be making another video about those whips back there here in a minute. I mean, wearing the same clothes, just like the video I just filmed, which it was about the Halloween cow. Anyways, I'm going to hop in. I've got, it's technically two finished objects, two patterns, but I made three of one and then one of the other. <laughs> but um, the cowls, I can't remember if I showed any of these. I know for sure I showed the one I made myself. But this is the wide... Wide Neck Bandana Cowl by Bag of Day Crochet, and it's a free pattern on YouTube, and I'll link the tutorial below. Super quick and easy pattern. It's I have it memorized. It's super easy. And um, I did alter it a little bit. This is the one I made my sister. I can't remember if I showed this one. But um, the cowl is actually way wider. It's 80 stitches, and for mine and my sister's and my mom's, which I'm about to show you, I decreased it. This one is for my sister, and it is... De I decreased it from 80 to 64 stitches, I think. Because she has a bigger head than me. <laughs> no offense, Heidi. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, it's, you know, your head's bigger than mine. But, um, yeah, she likes these colors, and I need to give it to her. And she, I need to make her a band or bandana, uh, headband too, but I, I've never been, I need to chain it while she's, where I can measure her head. Because her head is bigger than mine. Um, it needs to be bigger than the one I made myself, but I don't know how much bigger, and I don't want to make it too big. Or too small but this yarn is red heart color scapes I can't remember the color um I can't remember I can't remember it's the purple one <laughs> but uh, it worked out beautiful it looks really nice this is my sister's and then I made another one for my mom this is red heart color scapes Munich I remember that this was Munich and it's um, neutral tones and I think I did the same Decreased with my mom, 64. I did make her uh, cow part wider than my sister's. Because for some reason, even though these are both brand new uh, balls of yarn, I ran out of yarn with this one faster than this one. I guess my gauge was different, was more relaxed, so uh, you know, I used more yarn for each stitch instead of being tighter. But So this is what I made for my mom. I don't know if she's going to like it or not because she doesn't really like stuff up against her neck. But that's why I left hers bigger too because... Um, if she doesn't want it. But another, another cool thing about these cows is you can, like, if it's windy, you can go ahead and fold it up. Because it doesn't matter if it's ribbed. <laughs> if you're uh, freezing, just fold it on up and hide your face. But yeah, I hope she likes it. And then at my craft fair that I did last Saturday, a week ago today, I made another one. <laughs> I was sitting there waiting for it to start. I got there early so I could set up and not have to worry about setting up in front of people. And then I just sat there and crocheted. I made this cow while sitting there. And it's also Colorscape. It's the blue one. I don't know what it's called, but I have some behind me. Let me grab it. Okay, it's Red Heart Colorscape, and the color is a word I can't say. <laughs> I think it's like Japanese or something. A Japanese city. They're all named after cities. And it's Mykonos. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm not good at pronouncing. But it's blue. This is an entire ball of it. It came out bigger too. Oh, damn. Jesse's talking. He's over there. But this is, I like this one. I'm probably going to keep this one for myself too. But yeah. It's pretty shades of blue. Different blues. Kind of hints of green. But not a lot of green. Mostly blue. <laughs> so I made three cows. I love that pattern. It's so easy and fast. And you know, you don't need to carry paper around with you or anything. You can just remember it. And I have two more balls of this blue color. I have two brownish colors. I have another purple, but I'm saving it to make my sister headband with first. And I have another this color. So I might make some more of those and then just give them to random people. Uh, because I love that pattern and I like making it. And this yarn's perfect for it because it's nice and fuzzy and soft. And I got this one, the blues, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. All the other ones were gifted to me recently in a big yarn haul. And whoever, you know, when they bought that, I'm assuming, because that's the stickers on there, they also got it on clearance too. So I, I don't know if they discontinued this yarn or if it's just these certain colors. Because I don't shop at Hobby Lobby for yarn a lot. Anyways, let me put my other finished object on. 
They're a little hard to get on, but they fit nice once I get them on. I made me some finger fingerless mitts to go with my headband and my cow, the purpley, purpley bluey one. There's Nick Crate yarn. Ta-da! Can't remember if I showed these already. It's hard to remember when I'm doing vlogs along with No Catch Your Name episodes because I can't remember which video I showed what. But these are a free pattern and it's called Fingerless Gloves. And I don't have who it's by. <laughs> I have the link. I'll, I can't remember who it's by. Let's see here. The URL says Crafty Tuts, like the beginner you know, tutorial, T U T S. But uh, it's super quick. I added length down here because it, it came out like this big, I think. And I added like an inch and a half more on my wrist. And I have m a more yarn that I'm thinking about reattaching and making them longer this way. Like up to there. Because I think that'd be nice and cozy. I like fingerless mitts because, you know, when I'm driving, it's easier for my hands not to slip. And if I'm using my phone, not while driving, <laughs> but like when it's cold, it's easier, you know. I don't have to worry about taking off my gloves or getting the gloves with the little pads on it. And actually last year when it was really cold, it might have been early this year, January, me and Devin was out playing Pokemon Go and I didn't, I only had like regular gloves. So I ended up poking a hole <laughs> in the pointed finger so I could throw my Pokeballs. But um, with these, I won't have to do that. And they're cute. And they match my cowl and my headband that I made. So it's pretty chilly the last few days here in Middle Tennessee. But uh, I know around December to January, it's going to get our coldest usually. Really, our coldest is like January and February. <laughs> but this year, it's supposed to be colder. Um, I'll be able to pull all these out and use them. Hopefully. But yeah, I really like these. And uh, it's super easy and cus customizable pattern. So you can make it for any size wrist. I just got lucky that the size that she wrote the pattern uh, just happened to be the size that fit me. Alright, that's my last finished object. I have been working on, I guess I have technically some other finished objects, but they're part of a bigger project. But it's the Jada and Stitches 2019 Folk Art Calendar Blanket. <laughs> uh, it has been in hiatus for months because I was prepping for craft fair and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to start pulling out my whips. And Jade and Stitches is one I wanted to get caught up on. Along with the Unraveled Mitten one. Which is what I'm going to do after I get caught up on Jada. The only thing I have left to do on Jada and Stitches is the tractor. And I'll probably do that today. But then um, I'm going to go through all these whips. <laughs> and decide if I'm going to finish them or frog them. And then I'm going to start trying to get them done. Before I start a bunch of new stuff. Even though I want to start a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> I'm going to try to like get those dealt with. But I will show you my Jaden stitches. Last time you seen it, I had the sun, the barn, and the trees. So last night, while catching up on YouTube videos, I made clouds. I made some houses. I only made three houses. Because I wanted to put other stuff on there. And then instead of making... I didn't make the... I don't always forget what that word's called. Lighthouse. And I didn't make the sailboat. Because I don't live where there are sailboats. I live where there are lakes and you have like bass boats <laughs> and kayaks and stuff so i made a little dock and i made some little kayaks <laughs> so i'm going to show you my clouds first i made gray clouds because it might rain that day you never know just some gray clouds they're not super gray they're a light gray so it's kind of like it might rain it might not rain i don't know and there's my sun and then uh my trees you guys have already seen my trees and over here's my barn And then my house is, okay, this this is our neighbor's house. Just regular little house. And then on the other side of us is another neighbor. Just a regular neighbor house. And then this house in the middle is my Devin's and Jesse's house. I've always wanted a big yellow house. So I made myself, myself a big yellow house. So that's one house. <laughs> I sold it together kind of wonky. But that's our front door and this is where the bedrooms are. We have flowers and vines. What? 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 <laughs> I didn't hear you. Okay. But yeah, that's Down our big house. Here. We have a chimney. And then in front of our house is our dock <laughs> and our kayaks. We have two orange kayaks. <laughs> I thought that fit us better. These are horrible little paddles. The kayaks and the paddles and the boat or the dock is my own thing. <laughs> and uh, I think they look cute. I'm going to try to show you a better thing of it. Alright, so there's the sky and the meadow. Or forest. There's our barn. 
our little neighbor houses and our big yellow house. I'll put the tractor up here somewhere when I get it done. And then there's our dock with our kayaks. I want to do a lot of other things to this blanket. I want to make a garden, like a vegetable garden, over here somewhere by our house because we like to grow vegetables. And we're going to put the tractor up here and I might try to make like some playground equipment to put up there because Jesse likes playing on playground equipment. Yeah. And maybe some animals like farm animals. Maybe put something in the sky like birds or an airplane or something. I don't know. And I want to do more with the water. I thought about putting like, get down to it, inner tubes and stuff like that. I wanted to try to make a bass boat and I was going to use glittery yarn because a lot of the bass boats are like blue or green or yellow and they're glittery. But uh, I just made kayaks for right now. And I don't know what else Jada's going to do, but I'm going to pick and choose. I know she made mushrooms, but I don't think I want to put mushrooms in my woods. Uh, I'd like to put some little animals. I've seen a lot of other people's. They put like little bunnies and squirrels and stuff. So I might just slowly like just look at it and add stuff here and there. But yeah, so I pretty much got caught up last night. The only thing I didn't do was the tractor. And it's just because I forgot. And I'm going to make the tractor orange because when I was growing up we had an orange tractor. Uh, a little orange tractor. And I want to put that on there. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm going to keep seeing what she does. And then I'm going to just keep adding my own things. But I definitely want to put like a vegetable garden. Yeah. Yeah, so there's mine and Devin's house. There's actually a house in our town that was recently for sale, but someone bought it. And it looked like this. It was a big two-story plantation style house that was yellow. And I wanted it so bad. Every time we drove by, I was like, oh, I want the house. But, so I made ourselves a house until we can buy a house. If we ever do buy a house, I'm probably going to end up painting it yellow. Or that really pretty green color. Not that green. It's like a sage green. It's really popular around here. A lot of the new builds are sage green. But yeah, so that's my blanket thus far. And that's the only thing I worked on yesterday. I kept trying to think if I made anything else. I made a jellyfish before the craft fair, but it's in my big tote of all my other amigurumis waiting to be put on Etsy. <laughs> I'm going to list some of them on Etsy, I think, whenever I get a chance to take photos. And um, I'm going to keep my making more and adding to it because I want to do some more craft fairs next year. Uh, I want to do a Christmas one next year, but, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I have to wait and see. Be careful, please. <laughs> yeah, so that's everything. This is kind of a short episode this week. I don't really need to catch you guys up on anything because I've been vlogging, so you know what's going on. But, um, for the people who don't watch the vlogs, sorry, right there is 52 project bags and notion pouches. You can't see the notion pouches. No, blah, blah, blah. Notion pouches. They're over there. Let me just tilt you a little bit more. They're all over there. Be careful for the last update this year. I'm going to start sewing on Monday and I'm going to try to get done next week. I want to sew every day next week and get all those bags done. <laughs> and because my goal is to get them in the shop right around the first of the month of November. So we shall see. <laughs> Hopefully the sewing machine cooperates and I don't break a bunch of needles. But I'm prepared. Yeah. I got everything I need to make the bags. I just got to start making them. And I'm going to do that Monday because I want to spend Sunday with my boys. Will you please be careful? You're going to fall. Well, I'm not all the way down here. Jesse's still sick, so that's why my vlogs haven't been the way they're supposed to be, like every day. <laughs> but um, I'm just trying to get him over being sick, and then hopefully things go back to normal. We got some Halloween stuff coming up next weekend, so I'm hoping that he uh, feels better for that. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to film one more video. And actually, i got two more to film. But I'm going to... Hop off here and edit these two that I just filmed and get them going so I can get them up and out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.